Well, hello, hello. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you this lovely night? Tired, but happier to be here with you, learning English. Nice, that's nice. So let's see, let's see. Who do I have here? Carlos Antonio, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Tell me, how's everything? How was the day? Tired as always, but uh, please, I'm here. I'm ready for the class. Okay, it's that's the I didn't do anything new. That's why I, I have not much information to share. Not too much? Okay. Um, what about the job? How was the, how were the activities in your job? It was great. I did all all the schedule for for today, and I finished on time. In that way, I I was be able to come back to my house. You were able to come back home. Yes. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. So everything ready with all the energies for the class. Everything is ready. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's the attitude, my friend. That's just great. And let's see. Uh, Orlando, hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Um, I can complain today. Well, uh, in the morning was crazy because yesterday with uh, my co-workers, went to the general hospital uh, near to Hospital Primero de Mayo because we are changed uh, the copiers there. And today, uh, my boss and I and my coworker, we have uh, argued, that's correct. We yeah. argue because he said that we don't help them don't help him yesterday to didn't. The, thank you we didn't help him with to move the the copier but that's not true <laughs> because we moved uh 35 copiers and that was tired and uh, what else i spent most of the time today working and i found uh, English podcast and that's really cool because today I learned some phrase and phrases. Was some phrases but this is a uh, only phrase that I that's why I so phrase but thank you for the correction and uh, the, the phrase said um, learn connection not perfection and that's a really good tip me ah also i submit my information to tell us call center and they are call me today around 6 p.m um the boy asked me around 10 questions and i answer all the questions so on thursday i will have a second interview so i, I will see what happened that day Okay, well, that's nice. It's nice that you can say that you had a happy day. Yeah. Let's see, Nelson, Antonio, hello, good evening. Thank you very much, Orlando. Good evening, teacher. You're welcome. Good evening, how are you? I'm I tired, teacher. I don't know, I think that I need to read more of the normal time. Okay. Yes, teacher. 
but I'm okay. I always ready to learn every day, every class. Okay. So, not too much today. The same old story. The same old story, Dave. And also, I, I, I have a lot of a lot of work of the normal. I have I I have better. Among the most, no, the more pressure, pressure in the trabajo. I don't know what to say. More pressure at work. Yes, teacher. The last, the last weekend and this week has, has been the the early for me. Okay. Well, today was a very strong day. No, we don't talk that way. It's not that common for us to use it. I mean, it is used, but it's not that common. It's in certain states, certain areas. So, yes. sorry, Anthony. So you were okay. same old story. That means a lot of work, right? Yes, teacher. <laughs> What can we do? Today? Yeah, you're right. What can we do? That's the way it goes. Yes. Okay, okay. And well, welcome. Holman, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Fry. Um, the, I, my day is, is okay, it's normally uh, mm, nothing new. <laughs> The same of always uh, work and go um, <clears throat> and come back home. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, well, that's nice. I mean, and as long as you can tell that it's okay, even if it's, I mean, normal days for us mean working, right? And different activities along the day, but I mean, what can we do? That's the way it goes, right? Yes. Okay, well, welcome to the class, mister. Let's see. Hey, Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? I'm fine, teacher, I'm fine. Okay, oh, yesterday you were busy, right? Yesterday you were very busy. Ayer ocupado. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Yeah, I remember you were driving, but it's so nice that you can be here today for the class. Welcome, Wilfredo. Thank you, teacher. Gabriel, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Good evening.
<clears throat> How are you? How are uh, you doing about your job? Doing better? No, not so good, teacher. Um, uh, right now, the worst thing, I am in cap. Was it at it? For oh, no. Today. I I was diagnostic. Diagnosed. And not with acute bron bronchitis. Okay, well, at least it's just that diagnose. Yes, and um, and they asked me to take a COVID test. The, the 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 symptoms that a person are uh, symptoms of COVID. <clears throat> oh yeah, but that oh uh, that exam is oh uh, terrible. I don't like it. Yes. Uh. Okay. Well. Good thing is that you're here in class. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Uh, um, with Mario, oh, I'm sorry. Marlon, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. I'm tired. Yeah, this day was tiring because new process are being implemented in my job. And it is complicated because we are learning in the past. I'm sorry, I don't hear you quite well. Hello. Hello. Oh, now I can hear you better. So you were telling me, please, mister? What? You were telling me, me decía. Des, me despiden. Me decía, you were telling me. Okay, in my, in my, in, I, I, I find, but is tiring, fine and tired for my job. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine. A long day at work. What time do you usually yeah. finish working? Yeah, I don't uh, five or six p.m. No tengo hora de salida. What do you say? I don't have a leave time. You have all the time. Yeah. Oh, so you don't, I mean, you check in, but you don't check out. You don't have check out hour. No, I don't check out. I don't have check out. Okay, that's hard. That's hard. What time do you check in? My chicken is uh, uh, six fifteen. Six fifteen. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, that's I am. That's very early, actually. Yes. So your days are long days. Yes. <laughs> uh, anyway. That's the way it goes, as you must talk. Welcome, mister. Nice having you here. Thanks. Uh, thanks to you. 
so let the uh, 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 um, Ivan. Hello, Ivan. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you this Hello. lovely night, my friend? <laughs> Regular day, teacher. A regular day. Yes. A little tired. Yeah, a little mm -hmm. work. I mean. <laughs> a lot of work. Excuse me, a lot of work. <laughs> we were missing you yesterday. Yeah. Yes, I am sorry, my friends. Eh, se fue la luz. Turn there was off. a blackout. A blackout. Blackout. Ah. Yeah, a blackout. Cuando hay un corte de energía, it's a blackout. Okay. Interesting. Blackout. Yeah. Black cow. Black cow. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, many in Spanish, uh, corte energía. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly that. Mm -hmm. Black cow. Okay. Yeah, that's a black cow. Well, but the good thing is that today you are here. Yes, it's good. Okay, that's great, that's great. And you're ready for the class, that's very important. Let me remind everybody that the class has started already. Excuse me? Let me just remind everybody, let me record a little photo. Because I'm missing some. Teacher, uh, I, I, I hear uh, noise. Noise. No, noise. I hear noise. Me cuesta escucharle. Mm. That's weird because now I got good internet connection. Mm. Yeah. And That's let's okay. see my, my microphone. Let me check. Yep. My microphone is all the volume. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Thank you very much, Ivan. Nice having you here. Welcome, my friends. Thank you. Let's see. Who else is around? I feel that time. Well, let me get the agenda. Or I forget, you know. Sometimes I get excited with the conversations and I forget about the agenda. So I'm gonna get it like right about now. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I'm going to open this wider. And today is the 15th. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Pérez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Presence. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Good morning, teacher. Juan Francisco Achala Montano. Carla Lister García Lemus. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. 
Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Thank you, Luis. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Ryder. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Thank you. Ivania Chamilet. Domínguez Hernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Presente, Chair. Thank you, Mr. Sí. Okay, okay. Well, let's continue. I got more people here. Let's see. Ingrid, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I am okay. Good evening. How's everything? How was your uh, day? It's very uh, busy. It's more busy today. And this year? Yes, this year. And, but I finally go, go home. <laughs> um, just that, teacher. Just that? Yes. Okay, okay. What time did you get home? Uh, whoa, I don't understand. What time did you get home? Um, 8 p.m. At 8 p.m.? Oh my gosh, you just arrived. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I ate, uh, I, I dinner in the car. I have dinner. I have dinner in the, in, in the car. Um, and, and, and here. <laughs> and back home. Okay. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. What did you have for dinner? I mean, you were driving and having dinner? With Subway. Oh. I like Subway. Well, yeah, once in a while, once in a while, but that's not dinner for me. Yes, but today I, I, no tengo ganas. I don't, I don't, I no sé cómo, no quiero cocinar. I don't like cook you don't want to cook tonight yes i don't want to cook yes that's the reason for okay. i good evening i listen okay i perdón es rosalina pensé que usted me estaba escribiendo no it wasn't me no fue <laughs> it's rosalina nor you. Yeah. So you didn't want to cook. Well, yeah, it's difficult in your case because you are cooking all the time, right? Yes, but I don't eat for for I prefer don't eat and and cook. For no cocinar for don't cook for did cook. For not cooking. For not cooking. Yes. Teacher, I had a question. Yes, tell me. When can we use instead? 
en lugar de. Oh, okay, thank you. Can you give me an example, please? Okay. Uh, Ingrid decided to eat some waste instead of cooking. Okay, thank you. So, where are you, Ingrid? I was talking to you. Where did you go? Thank you, teacher. You left me standing. No, teacher. What do you usually have for dinner, Ingrid? Usually. Yeah. Um, just a second. Um, it's normally. <laughs> usually? Uh, usually, cereal. <laughs> cereal. Uh, cereal. And sometimes I beans with teeth. Or okay. uh, usually I my lunch is very um very very hard strong hard. Heart. Strong. It's strong. Oh, well, no, 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 no. I'm no. sorry, I'm sorry. Heavy. Heavy. Yes. Uh, in the in the evening, in the afternoon, I don't, I didn't eat it. No tengo mucha hambre. I didn't. I, I don't usually eat. I don't usually eat. Okay. Sometimes pupusas, sometimes hamburger, hamburguesa. <laughs> I don't know. What to say. Mm -hmm. I like. <laughs> sometimes pupusas and sometimes hamburgers. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, but pupusas is not a good option. Not anyway. Yeah. Thank you, Ingrid. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Josue, hello, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm just fine, what about you? I, I'm fine, thank you. Today, I went to the dent dentist again. So my day is um, more or less. Mm. Going to the dentist is not a good experience for me. Mm, but uh, it's it's um, it's necessary. It's necessary. Yeah, it's necessary. I know, but still, man, I don't like that thing. I hate going to the dentist. I mean, for me, it's one of those bad experiences I don't want to have in my life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but as you said, it's necessary. I mean, we have to do it. Uh huh. Even if we don't like it, we have to. Both. Um, in my afternoon, I have been working with with kids, kids, and kids, teens, and teens. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, what do you do? I am a coach. Oh really? Coach. What do you what do you coach? I am a um, gymnastic coach. Oh nice. Flips, front flip, back flip, handspring, wall cover. That's crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Too much crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is. But I mean, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. Really enjoy it. Too much. And it's nice. I mean, it, it's a good, 
it's good. It's a good activity. It's healthy. Uh -huh. yes. uh, exciting. Yeah, of course. Because when you see the, you see the girls go growing, it's a satis satisfaction. Satisfying. Satisfying. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, it's nice to see that that your students are are performing well, right? They are okay. keep on improving. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. I, I can I can imagine. I mean, the thing happens to well to us teachers. I mean, it's the same situation when our students start improving, and you can notice the improvement. It's satisfying. It's a yes. very very good experience. Yes. Yes. You're right. But I mean. It's also a big responsibility. Yes. I am I am the boss, so I have to organize organi organize or, organize uh, every coach. Um I have to control everything. That's not easy. It's not, it's not easy. Uh -huh. It's not easy. But I like it. Well, that's, I mean, that's the most important thing that you enjoy what you do. Enjoying yes. what we do is, I mean, it's nice. Otherwise, I mean, it would be better if you don't work in that area. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, Mr. Welcome to the class. Thank you so much, teacher. No, no problem, no problem. Shimara, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? <laughs> Bye. Oh, you, got, you got a cough. Yes, teacher. Oh, really? You're sick. Man. <laughs> it's hitting heavy to everybody. And here in the class, I guess you are the third or the fourth person who's sick. <coughs> Don't worry, Shimara. We will talk later, okay? Don't worry. Okay, <laughs> okay let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, guys, uh, so nice to have you here. Today we are going to do some very interesting activities. We're going to have conversation. We're going to have a couple of, of situations. And we are going to start about talking about some a different type of topics. Okay. Okay. Now. Uh, 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 mm, let's see. We're going to talk about kids. You know, societies they are different in the way that they think, right? I mean, we expect some things from certain groups of people. So right now, I have a question for you. What are some expectations parents have for their children? Some of us are parents, some of us are still living with our parents. So we can see, we can discuss this topic. It's very interesting because, I mean, of course, we always expect something from them. I want you to discuss in your personal case, what, what were the expectations or what do you expect from your kid, okay? You're going to be working in groups and you will have five minutes for the discussion, okay? The groups are going to be made up out of three members. Just let me check a little something. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, groups are created. Please, guys, jump in. I may not. It's very, it's very important that your, that your children learn about everything about life. So you can you can teach about the the everything can be happening in in the in the way 
Because it's not easy. Uh -huh, imagine. Yes, because don't 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 all all the time you you care you care day. So it goes. The most important is teaching. Teaching. Teaching to your to your kids or your children. <clears throat> this is my my opinion. I don't know, Marlon. What can we say? Hey, hi. In my opinion, the parents expect their children to be successful in everything you do. Uh, the parents hope that they graduate from university and have a, a successful job. And the most important thing. Successful. successful. Uh, so, uh, sorry, successful. Successful job. And the most important thing that their children are happy. This is my opinion. Okay. I agree with you. Um, what, uh, what, um, uh -huh. what is your, if you have to give me, uh, subjects or I buy or advice for my life? You can you can have happiness because the, the babies always say the truth. Yes. And my sister, she likes to them, she likes for them to be happy. And now they are, they, they are enrolled in the school. After that, she, want, she wants them to have a degree. And they are in the good part of, of life, you know. And I think every every mother around the world wants for their children a good education and the most how to say the most the most beautiful things for them. So do you do you have a key do you will no you will have a kid? Will you have? Will you have Kid? Not at, not at the mo not at this moment, but maybe in the future. Uh, I would like to have my own my own children. But uh, right now we have we have children in my home. It they are my sister children. And she wants the e everything for them. They want she wants to raise them as a good kid. Ah, it's okay. It's similar. I don't have a children in this moment. Maybe other years, but but I thought you similar. were you were you were married. Yeah, maybe. No, you are married or you are uh, not? No, 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 sorry. Sorry, teacher. I work. No, I am single. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I, that, that's a, that's a, you know, I didn't know that. I thought you were married, but it's okay. You will have your children, your, your children at the right, at the right time. You have to. Be patient. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's very complicated. Uh, the kids um, would need more attention, would need more more money. But not more money, but you need you need a uh, una cantidad amount 
you need mm -hmm. a, a quantity a quantify a quantify uh, for the for your the, the development um but in this moment this economy is very hard <laughs> no alcanza para andar pensando ser papá <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yes i live in i live without you no i live ¿Cómo se dice sin hijos? Without kids. Without kids. Or one pet. <laughs> well, they are a big responsibility too. Yes, but is yes. I I I think or oh, I will like I would like a cat. But it's not, it's not okay, but I will. <laughs> but you will. So yes. she, she will have a, she will have a pet. She wants to have a cat. Do you have a pet? But no, I don't have any pet. But yeah. I like I, I like dog, but it's it's a it's too many responsibility because you need to clean their area and you need to walk the door and it's too many responsibility. Now I just can't afford my life. Imagine that if I have a, a, a pet, it, it it will be difficult for me because I have to work and I need to and I need to be the, the head of the house, the family. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is, this is reason. It's, that's why. That's why it is, that's why is. Es por eso que en estos momentos no tengo una mascota, teacher. That's why I don't have a pet right now. I don't have a pet right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to me, but I some, sometimes I feel that I stuck because I think that I have all the information in my mind, but I can't. The the fluent is, is difficult for me. Mm. But uh, you don't have a a pet in the other season. Sixty seconds, guys. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who's the father here? Antonio. Hello, teacher. 
What do you think of that question? Tell me. Okay, what are the expectatives in... parents get towards their kid? Okay, my my expectatives can be uh, teach your your children. Teach about about every situation and the and the way of their life. A principal can be give education, uh, but not only only in the college or or university. Give education at, at home too. Because because uh, your child or your or your son or your kid can can be give education at college at university, but can can be education at, at the street too for bad friends. But if your child can recite education at home, uh, your your son uh, can know about the the things good or the bad things for for their life. Yeah, yeah, I understand you totally. Yes, That's, yes. Those are good expectatives. Let me, who else, who else, who else? <laughs> Ivan, what about you? What do you think of that question? It's a very interesting question. Tell me, what's your opinion? Yes, teacher, it's uh, interesting questions. In my case, my, my diary, my diary, uh, she has, uh, 20, 22 years old. Actually, my daughter. Uh, my daughter, uh, my, my daughter is my daughter is twenty two years old. My daughter is. Thank you, thank you. My daughter is uh, twenty two years old. Uh, actually, a study uh, lawyer in the university. Oh, nice. That's that's good. Um, in the yes, in the questions, um, uh, um, como todo padre, as uh, every father, yeah, as every you got father, expectatives, right? Yes, yes, he, uh, he, she's, uh, I like, me gustaría que aprendan, learn, learn, learn it. Yeah. Yeah, I would like her to learn. Learning, um, uh, aprendan a, a, a defenderse, defend, uh, defender in your, in your life. In their life. In their line, in their, in their line, thank you. In their lines, it's very important. And um, uh, she has a good professionals. What else, for example? Yeah, of course. All of us want them to be professionals, right? I mean, yeah. to have a good future. That's that's the that's the goal. Okay, now let's ask someone younger, Carlos Antonio. What about you? What do you think are the expectatives parents get towards their children? Every parent around the world have a lot of expectations for their children. They want a good future for their children. In order to achieve their goals, they need to raise them with a good guidance and, and support. So they need to support them. And it's not easy, but they everyone is I don't know how how can I say, but I think everyone needs a good guidance to achieve good good the goals that we we want. Everyone needs. Okay. Oh, interesting. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Let's see. 
Well, first of all, we got, uh, we are going to stop a little bit the conversation. We are going to come back to this activity later. But right now, uh, I got questions from the manual. And it's a very interesting question. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Luis Abrego, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Tell me, uh, in your company, in, uh, is there a manual with procedures about the activities you do, you perform? Um, sorry, teacher, uh, could you repeat, please? Okay. The question is this one. Look. Is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? Um, yes, teacher. Yes, I. We, we ask we, we have a procedure. Uh, is is uh, I have very normally, uh, normal que tenemos que cumplir. And okay. For example, um, arrive uh, early to the at the workplace, workplace, lugar de trabajo, llegar temprano al lugar de trabajo. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. You say it's okay. Uh, for example, the no smoking. Okay. Yes, and only that, only that. That's it. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Let's see. Who else do I have here? Ingrid, is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? Like rules to follow and stuff? Ingrid. Teacher, sorry, I don't listen in good. Is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? Mm, yes, uh, uh, we have a different procedures, procedures, procedures. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, uh, we have uh, one. We have different step in the manual for for by uh, different uh, different object um, I have we have the manual uh, where describe uh, different uh, describe use the the colors this presentation the color is 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 logo I don't know but um, we have we use the manual for different process. Okay. Thank you. Interesting. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now we are gonna go get uh, the ah, the conversation. That's the next step. I'm sorry, I was checking my lesson plan. Sometimes that happens. I need to check it out in order to see in which part of the class we are right now. Let's see, and we are right on time. Oh, we are right on time also for at hand down. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo, Gabriel Beltrán Pérez, Present, Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza,
Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. I am here. Palman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. Carla Lisbeth García Lemos. Thank you, Carla. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. I am here, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Chesteni Alvarenga. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Costales. Present. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. En Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Present teacher. Present teacher. Here. Thank you, thank you, Carlos Olivaldo. Well, guys, let's continue. Now we're going to go to the conversation. We got us a conversation here in the manual. Remember, we are in unit number two. We are working in page number 21. Let me share with you the conversation so we can all of us be on the same page. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, as I told you in the manual, we're in unit two, we are talking about procedures. Page number 21, exercise two. Okay, we are going to read the conversation about a staff meeting. Please listen to me. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. Our staff. What do you propose? First, Servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should be greet, should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server dress code and appearance in the first chapter. I repeat, guys. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server dress code in appearance in the first chapter. I will repeat one last time. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code in appearance in the first chapter. Okay, guys, practicing the conversation. Five minutes to practice. And groups are open, jump in.
Ahí van. Hello, Carlos. Let me change it to another group. Your classmates are having problems connecting. Okay, teacher, yes. Or, or you can go to the main room. Yes. There, there's, there's Josue. He's going to work with you in the main room, okay? Okay. Servers need to know the correct way to proceed. Ivan, what happened? I, so I. Right now, I'll send you. You. You are um, Armando. Yes, yes. Ahí está. Déjeme. Hello, hello. Yes, we hear you, Oscar. Yes, you are star. Okay. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you do propose? First, server needs to know the correct way to present the menu. To present. Will not it be, it be better to show that one is about how service should during the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu. Actually, it will be better if we include the server dress code in appearance in the first, first chapter. Okay. After that, how they need to present the menu. Actually, to present. In will the better. Excuse me. To present the menu. Present is the, present. the tense, the tempo. Mm. The present tense. Okay. The present. verb is to present. Yes. Okay, okay. Actuality. It would the better. If we include the actually, 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 okay, thank you, teacher. It would be be better if we included the receiver during call and the apparent in the first chapter. 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 Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, um, me and Magdaleno. 
Okay. Ah, oh, Iván. Ok, you are okay. Sarah. Ah, este Iván. Iván no ha, no ha practicado Iván. entrando. Bienvenido, welcome. Iván. Hello, 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 everybody. Go, go, okay. start the dialogue. So you are starting okay. now. Uh, I start. Yes. Okay, we need to create to the main step to include in the menu to train our, our staff. What do you propose? First, server need to know the correct way to present the menu. The correct way. Correct, the correct, correct. way. No, the correct. Look, the Josue. Yeah, we say D, we pronounce D, when it's before a vowel. Se a vowel. Ah. D cuando precede un sonido vocal. Ah, vocal. Uh -huh. uh, in the D consonant. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Um, wouldn't it's, it's correct pronunciation, teacher? Wouldn't. 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 No. Wouldn't, 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 like that. Wouldn't, wouldn't, okay. Wouldn't be better if charter one is about how servers should grade the customers and the after that, how they need... greet the customers, should greet the customers. Should greet the customers, thank you should read the customer and, and after that, how they need to present to menu. The menu. Actually, it would be better if you include that servers, dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Chapter, chapter. Uh, um, okay, if you want to practice Magdaleno and Carlos, you can switch the change the dialogue. Okay. We need to create the main speed to include in the ma manual to the train of the staff. What did you prefer? For, uh, first, Servers first, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Will it will will not it be better if chapter one is the above how server should win the customer and the F after that how they need to press present the menu actually it would be better if we, if we include the server's dress um call and appearance in the first chapter after after okay Ivan if you want we can switch the dialogue now It's time, it's time. Let's just wait for everybody to come back. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
three, everybody's coming back in a few seconds. In four, three, two, one, time. And let's see, let's see, Magdaleno and Ivan, you start. Magdaleno, you start. start. Yes. It's okay. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. First. Servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't be better if chapter one is about how servers- Chapter one, chapter one. Chapter, chapter, okay. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should grade the, cost, the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Carlos Antonio and Gabriel Beltran. Carlos Antonio, you start. Gabriel, you ready? Gabriel, are you ready for the conversation? Okay. Yes. Okay, Carlos starts. Carlos starts. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff, what do you purpose? First, server need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't be better if chapter one is about how server should greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu. Present. Present the menu. Actually, it could be better, better if we include the service dress call and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, perfect. Now, Wilfredo and Orlando. Wilfredo, you start. We need to create the main steps to include and the manner to try our stuff. What do you pro propose? First, propose. Uh, propose. First, server, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be there if chapter? One is about how servers should greet the customer and after greet. that should greet should greet the customer and after that who they need to present the menu the menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Perfect, thank you. Welcome. Carla, you ready? Yes. Okay, you and Carlos Salivaldo. You start, Carla. Okay. We need to create the menu, the main step to include in the menu manual to name to, to name of uh, staff, what do you propose? 
appeared in the safe knew the know the correct way to present the menu. Couldn't it be better if chapter one is about how service should should grade the should grade the customer and after that how they knew to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we included the recipe, dream, code, and the apparent in the first chapter. Okay. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Now, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ivan, you did it already, right? Yes, ready. Yes. Okay, Ivan, and let's see. Jose Ortiz. Ivan, you start. Okay. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff, what do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if Charter One is about how service should grade the customers? Um, after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if you include that servers dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, thank you. Now let's see, Holman and Ingrid. Holman, you start. <clears throat> we need to create the menu steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Would it be better if chapter one is about how servers should grade the customers and after that how they need to present the menu actually it would be better if we include include the include, servers include. include include the servers dress code and appearance in a first chapter okay thank you Let's see. Luis Abrego and Oscar Armando, please. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Who start? You start, Oscar. Okay. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the meaning. Wouldn't it be better if charter one is about how servers should rate the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the service, the code and experience in the first chapter. Okay, perfect, thank you. Antonio Rudas and Marlon Jonathan. Marlon, you will start. Okay, teacher. We need to create the main step to include in the manual, the train or a staff, what do you propose? First, 
Servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't be better if chapter one is about who server should greet the customer and after that who they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server address code and appearance in the field chapter. Perfect. Dress code. Vestuario. Mm -hmm. uh, vestuario, Thank pero you. reglamentado. Yes, yes, yes. I, I forgot. And uh, pronounced together. Okay. Thank you. Thank you to you, teacher. Like, uh, I have a dressing code for this class. If you have noticed, I, I am never wearing t-shirts. And when I was teaching like face-to-face uh, -face classes, I was always wearing a tie. That's my dress code. And in the company, set those rules about dressing. Like, you know, Carla told me that in her company, her dress code is that she can always wear minister. No problem. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, but sometimes companies, they get dress codes for guys and for girls. Some other companies are very informal, like they say, nah, there's not a dress code. It just depends on where you work and how the company has their own rules. Okay, guys, now next activity. Let me share again with you. We go back to the manual. Okay, we are going to have a little discussion as a group. Okay, we're working in a small group. You got here. These are the contents in a server training manual. You have to organize the topics to create the index of the manual on the right. Then you're going to present the index to the class and explain the reasons for your choice, okay? You're going to present the reasons for your choice. So you need to put them in order. What do you think is the correct order of all the items for this manual? You got here setting a table, the canteen wine, requesting a chip change, following the schedule, addressing kids and personal, getting to know the menu, dress code, addressing customers about tips and taxes, prevention of accidents and safety. So if you think that prevention of accident is the first one you write it at the beginning. If you think the dress code is the second one, you write it next to it. That's what you're going to be doing, writing and deciding which is the correct order for these topics to be addressed in a training manual. Do you understand the activity? Teacher, I have only one doubt about vocabulary. Yeah. What index index means? Indice. Indice. Yeah, mm. that's why you have to put them in order. You have to index the top. Thank you. No problem. My pleasure. Hey, Carlos, I will send the book. Hey, good, why not?
de vestimenta. I'm thinking yes. about dress code. Dress code. What do you mean? It means okay. Okay. I, got it. I disagree. I'm what? kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what? Okay. Next. Dress code. Um... Gabriel and Wilfredo say something. Give us your opinion. Don't worry if you have mistakes. We are learning here. Casi no entiendo. Dice que leamos el contenido. No, no. El manual anterior también. Y organicemos. El índice. Uh -huh. Así no entiendo. No entiendo. Ok. What we will do is that we put in order the meanings that we have at your left side. You have the list there of meanings sitting at table. The canning of wine, requesting a shift to change, all that uh, words we will put in order. Uh, que tenemos que ponerlo en orden, este. mm -hmm. Because we are uh, creating a manual, manual. I think manual. about. Manual, the... manual. Mm -hmm. Con estos. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Okay, um, sí. hey man, I, I think that the next can be, could be following the schedule. Mm -hmm. Then first, prevention often, dress code, and following the schedule. Okay. Next. Um, if there's dress code. We already said that is the second one. After following the schedule, we can get into know the menu because the, the waiter have to know the menu. No, it could be requesting a shift change. Hmm? Okay. Why? Because first we are talking about the responsibilities, like a mm -hmm. dress code, okay. deprivation of accident, following the schedule. And here, uh, if you want to ask for permission to okay. change your chip, I think it could be that one, but I'm not sure. It's okay. So, Okay. Um, okay, next maybe now the menu. No? No, addressing kitchen personal. Okay. What do you think? Dressing is. Oh, no, no, no. Dirigirte. Sorry. Dirigirte Sorry. al personal. My bad. My bad. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You uh, before, uh, before addressing kitchen personal, you, mm -hmm. you, you have learned addressing customers. <coughs> For dress customer, you have to know the menu. Mm -hmm, and before mm -hmm. you know the menu, mm -hmm. you you have to know the canteen vine, and before you have mm -hmm. to set in that table. Mm -hmm. So complex. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's one way. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Okay, next, menu. maybe. 
No, that's okay. Okay, maybe what is your your propose? No, that's what, okay. What do you propose? Ivan and Jose, you're putting in order the vocabulary, right? Uh, teacher, uh, I I don't I did I did no connection to the group. Okay, but there is Jose here. You can work with him. Ah. Uh -huh. Ya tiene alguna carita. Mm, ahorita estoy viendo. Sí, igual. Estoy tratando de renovar. Ok. Hello guys, did you finish? No, Carla? no teacher. No teacher. You're, you're working on it. Están trabajando en ello. Yes. yes, yes teacher. Okay, okay, keep on, keep on. You still got two minutes. They can do minutes. Okay. okay.
teacher. Yes, Carla. I'm sorry. Um, the, the, the question, no sé si lo voy a decir bien. The question, the platform. Um, la pregunta que le pedí ayuda me salió ah, mala. En lugar de poner apóstrofe, pruebe con la tilde. Ok, bien. Me sale mala todavía. Give me a second. Ok, ¿cuál era la, el número de la pregunta? La number two. Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Mm -hmm. Okay, I need you to please uh, copy and paste as I'm giving it to you right here. You got it? Ahorita lo está haciendo. Está conectada de la computadora. Sí, ya me salió buena. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then we have we have all the items. The items. 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 Teacher, the canting why was made in Spanish? Destapar uh, el vino. No, the can. Servir el vino. Es la técnica para servir, inclinar. Inclinar. Sí, el decantado, el decantado es una técnica. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Magdaleno, tell me the order you got. And explain me the order at the same time, please. It's okay, teacher. My pleasure. Okay. Okay, first. First, security is first. Prevention of accident and safety. That is That one is first. Second. Uh, we need the dress code. People have to know how they how they have dress. And third, 
they have to know following the schedule. And fourth, requesting a chief change for the rules. And five, uh, fifth, getting to know the menu because they have to know the menu to offer to the client. After know the menu, they have to know how, how addressing customers, how to address in the to the customers and to offer the, the menu, to offer the product. And oh, seven, seven is, I, I jumped five and six. Okay, five, getting know the menu. After they have to know setting the table. Seven, they have to the canteen vine. And eight, when they know, when they know these things, they are already to address it to the customers. Yes, to explain the menu, to the canteen vine, to setting the table, and follow the schedule. They are they are already to addressing customer and after addressing kitchen personnel and after nine they knows about tips and taxes and this is the last one. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Very well done. Okay, guys, give me just a second. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's... Okay. Yeah, what else? I'm sorry. Okay, here I am. Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is a very, very interesting question, the one that we are going to discuss right now. Okay, guys, I need you to think, to think carefully because the question you got is this, what are some things people can do to eliminate discrimination and prejudice, 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 sorry. What are some things people can do to eliminate discrimination and prejudice? What do you think? What are some things people can do? Okay, you just got three minutes. I need you to share with your classmates and go to the point, okay? ¿Cuáles son algunas cosas que podemos hacer para eliminar la discriminación y el prejuicio? Be to the point. You just got three minutes. It's because it's almost time, okay? And I need to have the discussion. Otherwise, we are going to prolong the class. Then no vamos a alargar la clase.
prejudice, 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 prejudice. Okay, guys. Hello. Hello. Marlon, what are some ways that we can eliminate discrimination or prejudice? Tell me, what the do you think? First, maybe the first thing is that make the people aware through social networks, conscientize in the redes sociales. But all people have social network. Social networks. Okay. To make people conscious in through social networks. That's a good idea. Josue, what do you think? Oops, Jose has left. Just wait a minute, Marlon. Everybody's coming back in one minute, okay? Okay. It's late, right? You must be tired right now. Bye, Marlon. What time do you usually go to sleep, Marlon? What time do you, do you? Do you usually go to sleep? Uh, I usually go to sleep at 10, when finally the class, <laughs> or uh, 11 p.m. 10 or Depends. 11 p.m. Depend because uh, what do you say insomnia? How, how do you say? It? How do you say insomnia in English? Insomnia. Insomnia. Really? Do you suffer from insomnia? Eh, uh, algunos días. Sometimes. The, yeah, sometimes. The, Today, um, fue para el insomnio tomo café. The, the medicine, the medical for the insomnia for me is the coffee because the coffee me da sueño. Yeah, it happens to me too. It relaxes me. Yes. Yeah. The coffee is the relax for me. Yeah, no, me too. I mean, sometimes I have been driving late at night and and when I get home, what I do is like sometimes I get home like 1 a.m. What I do is have a cup of coffee and and after that go straight to sleep. Yes. Yeah, it's very helpful. Ingrid. Hello, teacher. Oh, Ingrid discriminates a lot of people, I know. I am no, curious. teacher, never, never in the life. You discriminate me. I'm kidding. No, Tell me, teacher. what do you think people should do, society should do in order to avoid discrimination? Yeah. I think the first people knows the situation or know, know the knows the problematic around the world um, and the other the other alternative is i don't know teacher is very complicated because the situation have the, oh no, la situación ocurre, la, la situación, sí, ¿cómo se dice? Happens, 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 the situation happens uh, because people 
don't, don't, don't believe in this, in this topic, in this situation. And, but I think the people respect uh, the other people, or the other things. I don't know, it's my, I think, show the other people. It's what I think. It's what I think. It's what I think. It's what I think. Okay, interesting. It's an interesting point of view. Well, guys, let's see. because it's almost time. Let me get the final attendance. Tomorrow we are having this discussion. Hey guys, by the way, on the, the activity that I assigned, I was checking and just part of you have commented. The homework the from the platform. Teacher? It was from the platform. Do you remember that I told you under the video, under today's video? Bajo el video que tiene fecha ahora, class 11, video conference 11, you have a post in there that you need to finish it. So please do it. Okay, teacher, I will do. Okay, guys. Now, 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 let me get the final. I will, teacher, I will. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present, teacher. Uh, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Present, teacher. Elwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present, teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present, teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Bye. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Hi, teacher. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Carla Lisbeth García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Thank you, Luis Mario. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Wilfredo. Eh... Xiomar Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Fernández. En Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. Uh, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Don't forget the homework. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Teacher, you told me yesterday that I have to 
<laughs> stay now. All right. Okay, yes. I have I have a new tool for you. Okay. Yo tengo una nueva herramienta. How do I send it? Here or to the WhatsApp? Which one works better for you? ¿Cuál es la mejor? ¿Se lo envío acá o al WhatsApp? It's better in WhatsApp. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Okay. Give me just one second, one second, one second. Let's see. Oh no, I have a conversation with you. Let's see where are you? Oh, here you go. Okay, I have. Okay, learning English, experience yeah, language, a, learning science, since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what I want you to do is this. Yeah. Okay. What I want you to do is to check it out, analyze the, the type, see if it's helpful for you, because there you got courses, you got activities, you got topics, and it's something very modern. Yeah. It's very, very actual English. That is great. Yeah, no, that one is very good. And I am sure it's going to help you. The only thing that you need to, to realize is the, the pronunciation is British, okay? Ah, it's not the, from the United States. No, it's British. It's the BBC. So it's British. Okay. But it's uh, actually, that's a very good experience for you. Yes, I only remember the British pronunciation in one song. And men at work. I travel in in a fire at Cambe. Then he betrayed. Ah, oh. he's so sorry, so sorry. Yeah. Your, your, la grabación, so sorry. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. <laughs> it's a great song. Yeah, it is. Yes. It is a, with British pronunciation. Yeah. And then yeah, it's because of the group, of course. Yes, yes, that's right. It's okay. I will. I will practice that. Please do. Yes, teacher. Thank you. And so if you got you. any question, let me know. Okay, I'm here to help. Don't forget it. Yeah, it's okay. I have shame to write to you. Uh, in other hours oh so, don't worry don't worry i mean just be aware that if i don't answer you right away but i will during the day okay yeah hey thank you man no thank it's a you pleasure your time have a good night take care okay goodbye bye